This is Big Lou here. I just thought it would be nice of me to do my little rendition of a tribute on the 10 year anniversary of the Sega Dreamcast. Now, I remember when I read back in the days when magazines were the only source of communication we can get from the video game industry. Read about the Sega Dreamcast, me and my friends were like, oh, that's going to be an awesome system. And then not to mention, let's not forget the 9999 promotion that they had, which I thought was very clever. And when the Sega Dreamcast came out, a friend of mine bought it since he saved up his allowance to get one. And when we got when he got the system, he took it home, but it was on a Thursday. So we had to go over to his house because my parents have this you cannot play video games on during the school week rule, so we played the Dreamcast and we was pretty much in awe with the system. I mean from the design and then the controller even though I didn't like the d-pad but still the thing that really caught my attention about the Sega Dreamcast would have to be to me I might be in a minority with this but the memory card because I thought the VMU memory card was just ahead of its time and it kind of surprises me that to this day that no other companies tried to do that with memory cards because now memory cards a thing of the past so for me I didn't have enough money with my allowance to get a Dreamcast and then about a year after not the yeah a year after the system came out I moved from Texas I moved to Pennsylvania and then I basically just saved up my allowance and when I did save up my allowance the Dreamcast dropped from 199 to 149 so I put the system on layaway so I could still pay it off but then two things happened when I was on layaway a it dropped to $99 and afterwards the big shocking announcement was you know that Sega is gonna quit the console industry which I thought it really shocked me and I'm sure it shocked other people who grew up during a time when it was Sega and Nintendo to battle for you the consumer but it was really a sad day for me when the Dreamcast did die because for me what made this Dreamcast so unique to me is the fact that a it's the first non Nintendo system I've ever bought and that's another thing number two this was the first system I bought with my money it didn't come from my parents so the Dreamcast I thought the Dreamcast launch it was great it had a good library of games and the fact that what what's this dial up you say you mean we can go online and play with other people and now I know for PC gamers that's nothing but for console gamers it was like whoa this is amazing and even during that time I was pretty surprised how well Sega Net held up with dial-up because it was surprisingly good for dial-up internet and we're talking about dial-up I mean now you just can't go back to it but back then wow what a connection for it so otherwise I bought a good share of my games with my money because even at that time fortunately for me most of the games were getting cheap and that's just pretty much my story because I had a great time with this system. It was just a shame that once the PlayStation 2 launched, it kind of just pretty much killed the system, despite the fact that some of the PS2 launch titles weren't all that great, and yet, at the time, the PS2 library wasn't as good since Dreamcast already had a big library, but since PS2 was able to play DVDs at the time, that was pretty much the system buyer that was pretty much the main selling feature for most people is that the PS2 was the cheap DVD player so I could just go on and on and on about how awesome Dreamcast is but I'm sure there's other people out there that's doing way more professionally done video style blogs but I just thought I wanted to give him my two cents about how much the Dreamcast has changed me as a gamer because I thought the Dreamcast was the one system that got it right. I just really, I honestly wish that it was still alive to this day. So that's my little tribute to the Sega Dreamcast. So stay tuned as I do my little video montage of the whole thing. So thank you. Take care. 9909. We will never forget you.
Sega. We will never forget all the games you brought us and the competition and the clever, sneaky, dirty smearing campaign you had against Nintendo. It was dirty and evil, but deep down inside, we still had that guilty pleasure. Take care. Take you to panels two and three. Jump as soon as you land on a panel or else you'll fall. 